Hey everyone, Michelle here with iDaily Technology Consulting and today I am going to show you how to add a UDF or a user defined field in Sage 100. For this demo I'm using Sage version 2018 or 6.0 and it is important to note that in order to add custom fields you do have to have the custom office module. So if you don't see that in your module list you'll need to reach out to your client success manager or consultant here at iDaily to add it. But don't worry it is super easy and quick. Okay so moving on let's assume that you want to add an extra field in your vendor maintenance screen. Maybe something to include an account number with the vendor, um, and we can add that field to the screen and even carry it through to invoices and payments. And so this might help to eliminate processing errors or even be required by your vendor. So let's add an account number field um, right here. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and open up custom office. And in the main tab, we have user defined field and table maintenance. That's the application that we want to open. And like I said, we're going to add it to the vendor maintenance field. So we know that that's an accounts payable. And if I scroll down, I'm going to see AP Vendor Master. That's where all of my vendor files are stored. If you ever don't know where to add something, just send a quick email to your consultant uh, and we can get right back to you. So I'm right clicking and I'm going to click Edit Fields. And I'm going to click on the plus sign to add a new field and give that name or give that field a name. So let's just call this account number. The description is going to automatically populate, but you can certainly change that. The description is what's going to show up uh, on the actual screen itself. Okay, manual entry is what we want because the user is going to manually enter in that data. Click OK. And then I, this is the, the big screen where we get to choose everything. So is it a multi-line, just like a text box? Maybe it's something where you're going to give them options and it's a drop down or a list box is similar to a drop down or even just a checkbox. Um, maybe you validated something that you, you've called the, uh, your vendor and verified that your account has been set up. The data type, you can set it to be string, numeric, or date, and the maximum length you can set. We're going to go ahead and set this to 30. It is important to note that you can always make the field bigger, but once you've set this field, you can never make it smaller. Just to note there. You can change dis display attributes, and then this is the actual caption that's going to show up. I know I said it was the description, but it defaults, and most people want those to be the same. The validation tab is where you would fill out information if you wanted to use a drop-down list. We'll cover that another day. And then the data sources tab is, like I said, you can link this field into AP invoice data entry or even into your checks so that you don't have to worry about going in and grabbing that info. But for this one, all we need to do is make sure that we've got a description, the correct data type, and the length. Go ahead and say OK. OK again, and update your tables. And honestly, that's it. I've created my user defined field. Now I just need to make it show up in my vendor screen. I'm going to close this, go back to accounts payable, open vendor maintenance, and then I'm going to right click in any of the uh, blank space. On mine, it's the, the purple space. I was going to say gray space. Most people have gray space. So right click, panel settings, and customizer. Here I get to choose who this new panel is for. So is it for all of my users and all of my companies, some of my companies and all of my users, etc. So I already have a customization set up for this company and all of my users. Here you can see I've got an all for the ABC company and then an all and an all. So all for the ABC company. And then this is what it looks like, your Sage screen looks like on the back end. Over on the left, I have a button to add a field. So I'm going to click that and then drag the space for my newly um, added account number. And you can see the columns and the rows. So this is going to be 21 characters long and one row tall. But if you remember, we set ours to be 30 characters long. So I'm going to go ahead and set that to be 30 characters. And then by default, any user defined fields that you've added to that table will pull up. So there's the account number that we just created. And I can move this around so that it's a little bit easier to see. Just like that. Come up to my panel. Click Save. It's going to validate that. 
This is a secondary panel that you can edit, but we don't recommend it. And voila, we have an account number. So now I can type in that account number field. And like I said, I can have that carry through to invoice data entry or even trickle down to the check so that it prints right on my check form. And that's it. That's how you make a user-defined field or UDF field in Sage 100. As always, if you have any questions, our team is here to help. Click the link below to get in touch.